Hi, this is Effects Freak, and this is my first video tutorial. For those of you who've been asking, this is the uh, one for teleportation. Uh, the effect that we are trying to create looks like this. Pretty simple. It's just motion, then a blur, like has some sort of distortion effect, and fades into the next scene. So I took two different clips. I have the the foreground one, which is just me making that motion and looking like an idiot. And then I have the second clip, which is me in the second position after the teleportation. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, import both clips into the composition and we're going to time them so that just at the beginning so it flows smoothly into each other so we're going to send whatever it, the top layer is to uh, 50 so we can see both at the same time and then we're going to time this for when he first starts to make the jump and then the second one is going to be timed to right when he's in the end of the jump. About right there. Okay, so what it ends up looking like is that. So we're actually going to make this a bit longer. Now, the uh, for the first step, we're going to uh, have the first uh, scene fade into the second and it's very important that when you do both uh, shots that nothing in the background changes because if it does then you're going to have to uh, mask out the characters and that's a whole other load of work right there. So we're going to go to the frames in which we want the fading to start. I say about right here on mine. And, uh, click the stopwatch in the opacity go maybe three frames depending on how many uh, frames per second you have. I have 24 so three frames will work for that. Three or four frames. Fade out. So what we have is this. Actually I'm gonna take away one frame. That looks pretty good. So now we have that. Now for the uh, the slightly harder part, we're going to add the ripple. We're going to go layer, new, adjustment layer. And we're going to go effect, distort, displacement map. Now depending on your footage, you're going to select a different layer. I'm using the upper layer. Then we're going to, I, I usually like to use luminance and either lightness or luminance again for the horizontal and vertical displacement. Just up those a little bit. Looks kind of funny. Okay, so the layer I chose doesn't work, so we're gonna. I'm just gonna switch this to uh, adjustment layer. Yeah, that looks better. And then we are going to uh, time this so it only starts when the character starts to make his motion, and we're going to end it when it's over. So let me just drag that this way. Okay, now uh, the you'll notice that on the sides are little black edges because it's pulling stuff from the other side in that way so it ends up ruining almost your, your scene. So what you're going to want to do is you want to want to mask a really, you know, unless you want to get Extra extraordinarily detailed. You don't. You don't have to do an extremely detailed mask. Just something really wide around the characters. So I did it like this. And I'm going to turn off my adjustment layer just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to click the stopwatch for mask path. And for um, for anyone using After Effects, I think it's 6.5 or below. It's going to say mask shape. And then you're going to move a couple of frames and follow wherever the characters are with your mask.
<clears throat> a couple more frames. By this point, only one character is still visible, and the mask is only going to ca uh, cover his section. And that's really all you need to um, rotoscope. And then we're going to turn it back on, just see what we have. Now that's pretty good so far, but you'll notice <clears throat> on the edges, they're kind of sharp right here. And we want to feather the mask. Once again, depending on the size of your footage, it's going to uh, differ. But on mine, it's around 40. And then what we want to do is we want to animate the mask opacity so it doesn't just start up on one frame because that looks terrible. So we're going to click the stopwatch on mask opacity, start it at zero, go forward a couple of frames, and then set it <coughs> to maybe 80 percent. 100 does not look too good. It's way too distorted. Then we're going to go a couple more frames to the end and we're going to set that back to zero. So now we have this. Maybe just move that down one. And that's basically it. Now you can do uh, several other things like this. Uh, like, for example, in my old teleporting videos, I used to uh, add flashes. Whenever it happened, and you basically just open up a uh, new white layer. And copy the mask over from the adjustment layer over to this. Move it under the adjustment layer. And the opacity is already set. All you're going to do is feather it a lot more, otherwise it will look terrible. So now we have this. So once it goes, it looks like that. Of course, you might want to cut down on the opacity a little bit. I personally don't like to use the white flashes anymore, but you know, if, if you think it looks good, then you do it. And that's basically it. This is Effects Freak. I hope you learned from this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing your teleportation effects in the future.